Hey YouTube, it's ICU2 here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get VNC on your iPhone or iPod Touch on 4.0. So, as many of you know, 4.0 came out yesterday, and the jailbreak for uh, the iPhone 3G along with the iPod Touch second generation non-MC model came out uh, yesterday as well. So, uh, the other devices and the other models will be jailbroken probably later this week, but this works for any device on 4.0 as long as you're jailbroken. So to start off, I'm going to prove to you that I actually am on 4.0 by going into settings, general, about, and as you can see right there it says version 4.0. So obviously I'm on 4.0 and also you can tell because I have the folders and I have uh, this multitasking right here, but doesn't really matter. I'm going to go into Cydia and I'm going to show you guys how to get BNC. Okay, so once Cydia is loaded up and it's done refreshing the data and whatnot, you're just going to go to the search button at the bottom and you're just going to type this in. V-E-E-N-C-Y. And you're just going to get it right there. It's the first one. And you can also get the SB settings toggle if you desire. That's uh, what I got because you can just toggle it on and off in SB settings instead of actually going to settings. So once you have that, you're going to go to your computer and you're going to need a uh, VNC client. Now I will have a link in the description for Mac and PC users. I use Type VNC for PC and I use Trick Another VNC for uh, my Mac side. So like I said, I'll have a link to those in the more info. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to connect to it. First, you're either going to need SB settings, or you're going to have to go into settings, Wi-Fi, your Wi-Fi network, and then take note of the IP address. Or like I said, in SB settings, you can just slide over and take note of this Wi-Fi IP address. And then just write that down. And then uh, once you have that down, I'm going to show you how you actually connect into it. So just open up uh, the Type VNC viewer, not the Type VNC server. You need the Type VNC viewer. And then just input that same Wi-Fi IP address. Pick your connection profile. You can change some options if you want. And then just hit connect, and you will get this little prompt thingy saying it's connecting and protocol version is negotiated. And then on your actual iPhone or iPod Touch, you will get a thing saying remote access request and then you can click accept or reject and you won't get that if you set a password inside of VNC and I will show you how to set a password for that because uh, then it will just connect automatically so to set a password for it just go into settings and then scroll down till you see VNC and then go inside of it and then for password you can change it to whatever you want so I'm just gonna have my password one two three four and then just hit return and then you can go back. So now I'm going to show you guys what happens when uh, you have a password. So you'll click connect and then it will ask you for the password. It says my caps lock is on but my password is 1234. And then just click OK and then it instantly connects and I don't have to uh, accept or reject anything. So now it's connected and now I can view and actually control my iPhone. I will show you that I can uh, type and it recognizes that. So So I hope you guys liked this video. Uh, please subscribe if it helped you. And this is ICU2 signing out.